Welcome, Scorpio, to your July Astrodice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, and for those of you who are new, this is where we take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope. Okay. What's going on with you, Scorpio? Best message for Scorpio, please. Going straight into the 12th house with some Virgo energy with Saturn. Nice. So what is it? It is Saturn. It is the part of you that accepts the challenge to gain wisdom. Nice. And you're going to do this with some Virgo energy over here, which is really good. This is the energy around you that is dutiful, hesitant, humble, with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. The thing that's good about this is that this is going to keep you moving. <clears throat> and in the 12th house is talking about the area of your life that is overwhelming you. Yield to the greater cause of power. And this is also talking about not just that, right? The 12th house is your inner self, your dreams, your secrets, the past. Uh, subconscious and of course the karma that's going on around you whether it be good or bad um, since we possess both good karma and bad karma so very nice so you're accepting this challenge to gain the wisdom of either the past or something right whatever it is in the 12th house we'll see what's going on So getting to the situation, the situation is taking place at the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. We're talking about that 12th house. The Queen of Cups. It could be talking about some love, something you want to gain, some kind of wisdom about, some kind of maybe a cancer, somebody that you love and adore. You want to understand this. I mean, out looking in your cup, looking in your cup over here, using your intuition, trying to get through this. Being very diligent about this as well, because not only does Virgo um, contain diligence, but so does Cancer. The Queen of Cups is very diligent as well. So really looking into that cup and really using everything you have, pretty much, right? Your intuitions to look and say, hey, what is going on here with this person, this person that I love? And you got the Wheel of Fortune coming out in the beginning of the month. Changing of cycles. By doing this challenge and gaining the wisdom of what you want is going to change the cycle. It's going to bring in the good fortune. It's going to make fortunate events occur. Okay. So in the beginning of the month, you doing this is changing. Clarifying on the 12th house. Because why? It's because you're getting greater knowledge, greater uh, power through this. And it's just change again. Wow. Okay, so if you're going to have two different kinds of change, it's like you're walking through. Not only is the cycle changing, but it's changing enough for you to walk out of one chapter straight into another chapter. Right? Because now you have the Wheel of Fortune in the Virgo, which is saying, I'm changing. And not only are you changing, you're changing the energy around the situation. Um, and then you have the world over here, which means I'm just walking straight out of this. I feel that I've concluded this area here. I want to conclude this area here. Actually, that's what you're saying. I'm going to conclude this area here, and we're going to have a new chapter. But this new chapter brings in the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a fortunate event going on. It's going to change this for the better of yourself. It's going to better yourself. Does it mean it's going to better the relationship? It does not say that. It says so far it betters yourself, your understanding, your wisdom, your karma. Queen of Cups. Page of Coins. Well, could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Capricorn. Also have Sagittarius, but this one has every sign, right? This is saying, I there's every sign, every sign. So you don't have to be dealing with any of these signs. You could be dealing with any sign, according to the will of fortune in the world, right? 
with the page of coins, there is a supportive piece to the page of coins that keeps very supportive. Um, could even be a message. With the page of coins, it's a support and a message coming through. So in the beginning of the month, there could be a message that helps support this whole thing that's coming from a, a Capricorn or a Virgo. It's going to help you get deep into this cup over here and try to find out the knowledge, the understanding of the 12th house and take on this challenge. It feels like the challenge already exists. Now you just want to gain the wisdom. And this person's coming in saying, I have some supportive news. It doesn't mean it's good news. <coughs> it's just knowledge. Extra knowledge to support you finding the answer. Something that's going to help with the Wheel of Fortune. Something that's going to take you away from the toxic energy. Replace it with this Wheel of Fortune opening. So as you're getting rid of the, uh, the toxicity, you're opening up the good. Changes are for the better, as we said before. Knowing that you're getting into this new chapter, there is kind of a stuck feeling, though. You may have to take a self-sacrifice in some way over here, Scorpio, to get to the new chapter. There's something that you're going to have to do because you're going to be in the hangman mode to where you are um, hanging around, meditating, really looking on, you know, um, looking at, excuse me, the situation. But you know that there is going to be this conclusion to walk right through to this new chapter because that chapter is over. It's done and you can go. But it's almost like you're trying to figure out maybe what's next. Now that I know this, what do I do now? Really meditating on it. So getting to the midnight. Could be breaking karmic chains too. I, I could tell you that here. This is karma. That could be a karmic card. Getting yourself unstuck. Mid-month you have the reflection. Also the kind of the hiding away. You might be reclusing yourself. Not cold shouldering reclusing, but reclusing for the reasons of um, isolation of thinking. I don't feel like going out. I want to think about this. It's just a very reclusive. I'm taking a step back. I'm taking some time out. So with the hermit over here, it just feels like you're looking for the light. You're looking for the answers. Really digging deep for the answers and the understanding of what to do and how you're going to get unstuck. So, and yes, it could keep you in a kind of isolation mode where you're not as bubbly, fun, outgoing as you usually are because you're kind of stuck in your own little thing over here, thinking, reflecting. Some of you might have Virgo in your chart. I've got a lot of Virgo going on over here. Virgo, Virgo, or just dealing with a Virgo, right? Um, with the two of wands upside down because you don't know exactly where you're going. So you're kind of with the two of wands when you're in the Virgo over here. This is going to be the hesitation to want to go anywhere. Now you're feeling the hesitation. You're hesitating on looking towards anything at this time because it feels like you're reflecting on the challenge to gain the wisdom, to figure out where you're going to, what you're going to do. So you've stopped. I'm not looking out in this world. I'm not doing anything. I'm taking a step back. With the four of pinnacles because you're trying to let go. You're trying not to hold on. You want the greater cause of power, um, and but you're trying to let go of that 12th house. You're trying to let go for the, the best of yourself. So you're trying to figure out what in the heck is going on over here. With the four of pentacles, I'm just not holding as tight to this person, to this situation, this challenge. We're just going to call it, you know, the way I was before. So you're starting to actually let that go because you're having a better understanding, and that's why you're not moving it's like this hesitant move of, I'm not doing anything. And it's a restraint. You're restraining yourself. It could even be some sadness, of course. This card can also, you know, 
clarify sadness, trouble, right? And then with the Four of Pentacles, you're saying, well, I don't know, right? It's an obstacle that I don't want to do anything. There's a setback and I'm going to let go. And you know there's a setback. Not holding on tight to that. A clarifying on the hermit. Yeah, the six of coins. And with the six of coins, you're saying no. That's why, because I am in reflective mode. I'm looking. Some people might see that you're that you might be selfish. Why are you being selfish right now? Why are you not coming to me? How come you're not doing this? How come you're not giving yourself to me? You know, because this is a, a upside down. This is the ungiving of oneself. Maybe they feel like you're not giving them the attention that they want. And that's because you're kind of isolating yourself and you're taking a step back. Kind of hiding out in the shadows a little, right? And yeah, that's fine. So they might not see you as, you know, easygoing this, that, the other. might even be asking you for something in mid-month and they might think that you're selfish because, you're, hey, you know what? Scorpio is always there to help and they're so generous and right now they're being selfish. They're not helping me. Well, you're not going to. Right now you're doing something for yourself. You're not over here looking at, to help anybody or do anything. And yes, there is this sadness that's going on with this, with the three of cups upside down. So definitely have the separation and the sadness um, and definitely the non-movement with the four of pentacles is just going to end up the two of wands again. So you get the two of wands over here talking about that staying hesitant, not wanting to do anything due to some sadness um, and some, you know, just mixed emotions going on over here with the two of wands again. So it's just saying, yes, I'm not going to do this because I'm not moving. Okay. And maybe you even see somebody as being a little immature in the mid month. Maybe they want you to give, you're taking a stand back and you're saying, I'm not going to give to you. Look, I'm looking at all this from a different point of view, right? Because that's what you're doing because of the hangman and because of the queen of cups. And you are starting to feel that energetic shift and change for the good. Seeing things in a different light. So getting to the end of the month and the 12th house. You're not feeling the Ten of Cups just yet, but you are feeling the Lovers and the Page of Wands. So it feels like the more that you keep figuring out about this person, the more unsatisfied that you still feel with the Saturn. You feel like the challenge is still here and you're not very happy about this. Um, this is not bringing you the Ten of Cups, um, but it's okay because you still have to remember the Wheel of Fortune is here. So, But you're still going to feel this... Um, yeah, like you're not achieving what you want to be achieving. They're not giving to you what you want. The challenge is still there, but you have gained the knowledge. Of course you gained the knowledge. That's why you took the step back. Because you know something's up. The lovers over here with under the Virgo, that is telling you, now I feel like I have this humbleness about me. I understand what's going on. I understand what everything is that is going on. It's just everything that's going on around me, the challenge. I understand. I gain the wisdom and the knowledge of the, what the real love is and what to do over here with the unity. It's this greater understanding of the love situation, of the challenge, getting back into the heart's desires of things that you want to do, not paying attention to the page of wands. And with the page of wands, it's like, are you playing me? Are you fooling me? Because, you know, I'm not going to play these games with you anymore. I understand now and I'm traveling towards where I want to travel and I'm not putting up with this anymore. I've had enough of this because it feels like a lot of games. It feels like you travel towards me when you want to and I've gained this knowledge of what's really going on within this situation and this challenge. Um, and now I'm getting back to my own heart's desires because this is not making me happy. So, yeah. Just because the Ten of Cups is upside down doesn't mean that your life is upside down. If anything, it's getting stronger. This doesn't satisfy me. I know my heart's desire and I'm traveling in that way. But I also see you as traveling towards me like you're some kind, you know, like you just want to travel whenever you feel like it. 
Maybe they think you have an open door for them. See, and then maybe that's why they felt you were selfish because, you know, they come and go as they please. With the Ten of Cups. Play your heartstrings. Something of this nature is just the Ten of Cups upside down again. So it's just literally saying the same thing. You're not getting to where you want to do and you know exactly what you want. And yeah, see, you're resting easy about it. You know this is not satisfying. You understand the challenge and you're resting easy about it. You're just like not even allowing it to worry you right now, Scorpio. It's because you figured it out by the end of the month. You're like, yeah, I got this. See, you do got this because of the Three of Swords. I understand what directions are what. I understand what you're doing. I understand the challenge. My higher intuition is here. I use the Queen of Cups and I get it. And I'm going after the 12th house and the things that I desire. I'm getting the greater cause over this and I'm going to allow this to affect me. Yeah. With the lovers over here, I understand that heart's desire. I understand what I want. I understand what I need. And I'm going for the Ace of Wands. Now, here's the point though. <laughs> This could be that you're just saying, I forgive you, you know, or I accept the challenge. I forgive the challenge. There's some kind of compromise going on with the Ace of Wands. This is kind of like I'm handing out my peace offering. I just want it to be peaceful. I just want to be, you know, I just want to be in this better area. Um, you know, it's kind of like making amends. You're just making amends. That doesn't mean that if this is you and this other person and you find that they're really toxic, that you're going to take them back. That doesn't. It's just making the amends for a new tomorrow, for a better world, for the new chapter. Going strong and taking action. See, because you were hang, you're a hangman over here, and now you can actually move and feel like you're moving in the area you want to go in. It's like you're shedding the old, having the understanding making the amends with yourself or them or whatever the challenge is and saying, I'm done. And now you get to nurture the situation because you feel more prosperous within all the areas of your heart's desire. With the page of wands. You're traveling and moving into a new direction. You've learned what you need to learn and you're moving on. And it's almost like, you know, hey, they could still be watching you at the end of the month saying, where are you going? How come you're doing this and that? The challenge might still be there. It might still be trying to show its face. But you have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Coins. There it is. So, it, you know, it, look, you already have the Fulfillment of Wishes. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the World. You know, I mean, you have it all right here. It's almost like Spirit says you just open up, figure it out. Figure the challenge, and once you get through the challenge, then you get the abundance. Because it can only get better. The only way that it can get worse is if you just decide to, you know, ignore the challenge, right? But yeah, it's saying your cups are going to be overfilled. Then you can make different decisions with the two of coins. You might even have two different things coming at you because um, you might know that they're watching you. You might know that they're still trying to travel back to you and try to do this, but it just feels like you're juggling this going, no, no, I have other things to do and I'm not worried about this. Okay. And so let's get an angel card and we're all done. See what spirit has to say about this. Choose your new direction is really what it is. It says choose a new direction, but I'm telling you, choose the wise direction. Okay, because it's the perfect time for you to be doing so. It's time for you to get that, you know, get to what you need because there's definitely something better. And when there's something better, this is the gift from the universe. They're saying, I've got you. And there here comes that Ace of Cups. What is the gift from the universe? I'm not telling. I don't give out Christmas gifts. I don't shake. You know, if you want to shake the box, shake the box. I'm not going to even shake the box. It's like, nope, not going to do it, right? Nope, that's between what God has for you, what the universe has for you, what the divine wants to give you within the Ace of Cups. 
because of that wheel opening and you walking right through that chapter. Okay, there is something beautiful on the other side that is awaiting you. You just have to get there. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.